Much of the respiratory tract is lined with respiratory epithelium, which makes sense. Um, and you know about this type of epithelium already. You've seen it in the trachea um, in fall semester. And in spring, we reviewed this um, comparing the esophagus, which is stratified squamous epithelium for protection as you swallow food um, versus the trachea, which is this pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium or ciliated pseudostratified columnar epithelium. Um, this is the main place that you find this type of epithelium, the pseudostratified, where it looks like it's stratified, but really it's not. It's just all hodgepodge. So these are separate cells. So it's actually simple columnar, a single layer of columnar, but it looks stratified and it is ciliated, has little cilia here. Um, you've seen this in the trachea, and we're going to see this same idea of this respiratory epithelium. So the um, mucosa is that pseudostratified columnar epithelium along with the areolar tissue that underlies it. This is our mucosa, and that is present in a lot of our respiratory tract. Not all of it. This is a couple of places where um, we're going to have need more protection than that. But this epithelium is important for one of the functions of respiratory system, which is to keep crap out of the lungs. So these little cilia, they move, um, they get debris um, out, along with the mucus that is produced. There's mucus produced in two places. One is in the submucosa which is this layer right here. There are glands in here that produce mucus. There are also goblet cells um, within the epithelium. Um, here is one right here. These are mucus cells. So the production of mucus as well as these cilia are designed to keep stuff out of your airways, um, debris, dirt, infection, for example. Um, these cilia are mobile, and I want to show you a little video of these, these little guys working. Here they are. Aren't they adorable? So this is actually here the epithelial cells. Here's one right here. You can't see the nucleus because it's not stained, right? And then here's the little cilia that you could see waving back and forth um, cytoskeletal extensions that get stuff out of the respiratory tract. Ah, go away. So I'm trying to get my slide, there we go. Slides back here. So let's go to where this is located in the trachea. Where else is this respiratory epithelium located? Here is an overview. Here's the respiratory mucosa with the, the mucus cells or goblet cells. And it's going to be present in the nasal cavity as well as um, part of the pharynx. The pharynx then switches to stratified squamous. Why? We've got the oral cavity in here. Here comes food. Anything that goes to the esophagus, we're going to want to have stratified squamous. So this is going to be, um, let's just put this word, the oropharynx. There is a nasopharynx and a laryngopharynx as well that are respiratory epithelium. This here to here is respiratory epithelium again. Respiratory mucosa is the same thing. Um, we've got the larynx, also the ringopharynx, and the trachea are all um, have respiratory mucosa. Then as we get to our bronchioles, things start to become thinner. Um, these alveoli 
by this point, it's extreme, simple squamous epithelium. And that is so we can have diffusion occur across these thin membranes. Going from pseudostratified to simple, we're gonna have cuboidal in the middle here with those like those tertiary um, bronchioles. Here is an image of the alveoli. Um, so what it looks like to have those simple squamous passage, um, passageways and actual sacs of, that are the alveoli. And you're gonna see these in lab. Here is a learning check. Um, this image here shows the palate. Here, this bone would be the hard palate. So this is a sagittal section of the face. Up here is nasal cavity. Down here is oral cavity. What type of epithelium is located here and here? And here's a clue, I'm gonna zoom into each of those. Here's a zoom in of this, the nasal cavity. Here's a zoom in of the oral epithelium. And that should help you, as well as thinking about the functions of these two regions, you should be able to identify the specific epithelial type. Here's what we've done. Describe the types of epithelial tissue in the respiratory tract, relate structure to function. So function of this type is related to that mucus production and getting debris out versus protection versus diffusion. Some of the structures and these um, in terms of it within those tissues, tissue structures, and then here are the structures within the respiratory system. Note, I um, mentioned some of these. We will come back to looking at these three more closely in the next video um, in terms of reviewing that. You should have some idea already of what tissue types are present in those. These two locations here, those are our respiratory um, membranes. That's where we're gonna have the simple squamous epithelium for diffusion.